In this example, we're asked to approximate the area in the first quadrant between x equals 0 and x equals 4 and under the parabola y equals x squared plus 1 using rectangles with a width of 1. So here we're attempting to use the rectangle rule to approximate the area under the curve. Between 0 and 4 means we're trying to find the area in here using rectangles. So if we draw our rectangles, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Remember, and all the rectangles have a width of 1. So 1, 1, 1, 1. And the height, which we can find by finding the function value on the curve. So the height of the third rectangle, for instance, is whatever the function value here is, times the width of 1 gives us the area of this rectangle. Add all those up, we get the approximation formula. So here's the approximation formula that we're given. We can factor out the delta x's if we want, and since we only have four rectangles, meaning n equals four, we only go to f of x sub three with the formula. So rewriting the formula for our situation, we get the area is approximately equal to delta x, which we'll factor out, times the function value at x sub zero, plus the function value at x1 plus the function value at x sub 2 plus the function value at x sub 3. Again, since n equals 4, we have to stop at n minus 1, so we go up to 3. That corresponds to this function value, this one, this one, and this one, giving us the heights of the four rectangles. Delta x, of course, is the width. So the width of 1 means delta x equals 1. And we need to find all these function values. Now, for this example, we can start plugging in the values here. Delta x is 1. So the first function value is here, which is at 0. It's always at our starting point. So this is f of 0. Our next function value is from here. <clears throat> so we add delta x. We're always going to add delta x to find our next x value. Because delta x is the change in x. So it goes from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2, and finally from 2 to 3. The rectangle rule will always stop one delta x short of the upper limit which in this case is 4. So 1 delta x less than that is 3. Now, we need to evaluate the function at each of these points. We can use our calculator to make that a lot faster. If you hit second function window on your calculator, you see the table setup menu. Table start, we want our table to start at 0 because we want to find the area starting at 0. And we want the change in the table values to be 1. We're going to put whatever our delta x value is in here, because that tells us how big the steps are in x. So for us, delta x is 1. So we put that in. Then we hit second function graph to see our table. And our table tells us that when x is 0, our function is 1. When x is 1, our function is 2. And so forth. So f of 0 is 1. And we can plug in all those values. So f of 0 is 1 plus f of 1 is 2, plus f of 2 is 5, plus f of 3 is 10. Now we could have done that just as quickly by putting 0 in here, 0 squared plus 1 gives us 1. Put 1 in, 1 squared plus 1 gives us 2, and so forth. But the calculator does make a lot of these go faster. So we add those together and multiply by 1, and we find that the approximate area is 18 units squared. Now, that's the approximation. The second question, we want to actually find the exact area. So, we're not looking for approximate anymore. Let's find exact area. 
And this is the next question on the handout. So the exact area in the first quadrant between 0 and 1 under the parabola, and we're not going to use rectangles anymore. We're going to use a definite integral. So setting up the integral, the integral is going to start at 0 and go to 4 of our function, which is x squared plus 1 dx. So now, up to 4, we're finding the exact area here. And based on our last diagram, we didn't count these little triangles that were left. So our exact area should be a little bit larger. So if we take the integral here, we get x to the 3 over 3 plus x. And this is evaluated between 0 and 4. So now using the fundamental theorem, we plug in 4. We get 4. 4 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 4. And those should really be in brackets to make sure we don't make a mistake with our negatives. Minus 0 cubed over 3 plus 0. So the fundamental theorem says plug in the upper limit minus plug in the lower limit. So put in 4, put in 0. If we evaluate that, we find the answer is 25 and a third units squared which is a little bit bigger than we found using the approximation, so that makes sense. We can verify this on the calculator in a couple of steps. We notice if we hit second function trace, we get the calculate menu. The seventh option here is the integral of f of x dx, which is what we're looking for, the area under the curve f of x. When we hit enter here, we're asked to put in the lower limit, so in our example that's zero, so we put zero, enter, then the upper limit, so in our case, that's 4. So 4, enter. And the calculator displays our curve with the area that we're looking for shaded and tells us the answer is 25.333, or 25 and 1 units squared.